hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we would be talking about quotations we would have an overview of quotations and we would also see how to create rfq so let's start so if you talk about quotations quotations are requests for vendors to provide us information about their prices terms and conditions schedule of deliveries and other information in order to select the best source for the procurement needs so if you see the process flow for quotations in mm so first it is a request for quotation then we process the quotation and then we do the comparison and, and then we have the source list generation now let's talk about creating the quotation so quotation or rfq can be created by transaction me41 so we can create a new rfq from scratch or we can also create one with reference to an existing purchase requisition or an outline agreement so if you talk about the steps for creating this requisition the first step is to open the transaction me41 and we have to enter various fields so the important fields that we have to look at are the following so first field is the rfq type which is the quotation type and normally the value of this field is a which is standard rfq so second is a language key which is to be used it is normally english and depends on the country so rfq date can be today's date or the date of creating the quotation we also have quotation deadline this is the date that has to be before the delivery date we have the rfq number it is the number that you want to assign to the quotation we have some org structure components that are purchase organization purchasing group we have item category which is blank for the standard item we have delivery date which is the requested delivery date we have plant and storage location and the requirement tracking number so once we enter me41n we would look at this screen this is the create rfq screen and this is the initial screen so the fields which i have talked about are these so we have the rfq type which is an for standard we have language key en we have the rfq date as today's date we have the deadline date we have the rfq number so this is the number okay and then we have the org data that is purchase organization purchasing group so we have some default data for items that is item category we have standard blank is for standard we have delivery date we have the plant we have storage location we can also enter material group and very important we have the request tracking number now here we press enter and step two is the entering of the validity date we enter the range of validity period and we also uh, feed information of the collective number the collective number is a very important field you know that for comparing the quotation and then we can enter the warranty date if applicable we also uh, fill the target value so this is the header screen after we press enter from the previous screen so here we give the validity start and end date we give the warranty we also feed in the collective number the quotation deadline date and also we fill the value so in the terms and conditions segment we fill the target value so the third step is the vendor address so you can find this uh, icon here the vendor address icon where you can choose the vendor so if it's a one-time vendor you can enter the vendor number now this is the vendor address so we put in the vendor here and uh, we have the details will be populated here so we have the search terms we have the street address and the postal code the country the time zone and all other details so this is the toolbar okay you will find the overview button which calls the item overview screen so once i click on this item i can go to the item overview screen so this is this uh, after clicking on you can enter the item information like materials and quantities so first important field is the material number which uh, we have to enter for feeding in the material we have the rfq quantity that is needed we have the unit of measure so this is the item overview screen we put in the material and the quantity here and we can save it so once we save we can have a message that rfq is created under this number so you can always go back to me42 
and edit the quotation. So if you think that some data should be changed, you can go to ME42 and, and uh, change it. Or you can also use ME43 to display the information and view whatever you have feeded in. So now this process has to be repeated for all the vendors from which you would be requesting your quotes. And if you have maintained the collective number in your quotations, for example, you can, if you, you can use any numeric uh, characters, you can review all the quotations for the collective number by using the transaction ME4M. So this was the procedure to create the RFQ or quotation. So in the next video, we will be going inside the SAP system to see how this quotation is created. So that is all in this video. If you got value from this video, do like, comment and share with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or feedback, share them in the comment section below. Till we meet again next time, you all take care and goodbye.